Cortana is a Microsoft Windows 10 voice assistant tool which can help you with a lot of things. So to access Cortana, you can actually go over here and there's the circle right over here. You can click on it to talk to Cortana. So let's try that out. So it tells me what I can do. So and you can see that what, whatever I'm actually speaking onto the mic, it is actually typing it here. So let's just stop speaking and let's see what it says. Okay, so it actually searched for uh, things that I actually said because it didn't understand what I get. So that's basically how you use it. So I can actually go over here and ask uh, Cortana basic things right here. How are you doing today, Cortana? All good here. When the unexpected happens, I can cancel your next meeting. Just ask. So you can see that the Cortana is actually responding. So let's see some of the settings uh, that Cortana actually provides. So to access the settings, you can go over here onto the bottom left, right over here, there's the settings. And let's click on it and see what Cortana option uh, we have over here. So here you can see that there's talk to Cortana. So make Cortana hear me. So you can check your microphone. So you can actually click this. And if there's any problem in the microphone, it'll uh, actually try to solve that out. So you can actually click this if uh, it is actually not working. But in my case, it is working. So I'm just going to close this out right now. So right now uh, here it says, hey, Cortana. So right now, if I were to say, hey, Cortana, nothing happens. Uh, that is the because the hey Cortana response is, uh, response is actually turned off. So if I were to turn this on, whenever I say hey Cortana, it actually opens up Cortana for me. So let's try that out. So I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to say hey Cortana. And now you can see that Cortana actually pops up over here just like this. So I'm just going to close this out. And over here uh, below, there's the keyboard shortcut for Cortana as well. So it says, let Cortana listen to my commands. When I press the Windows logo, press the C key. So I'm going to just uh, press this out and I'm going to press the wing Windows logo on my keyboard and press the C key. And now you can see that Cortana actually pops up just like that. And it is actually uh, uh, typing out what I'm speaking. So I'm just going to close this out again. So that is how uh, you can actually set up Cortana to actually pop up as well. So now the other option right over here is let Cortana access my calendars, email, uh, messages, and B data if I, when my device is locked. So if I were to actually click this out, then what happens is that even if your uh, computer is locked out, it's in lock mode, your Cortana can still access all of those data. And over here at the bottom, you can choose the language. So you can see that uh, you can choose one of the languages. So you can choose English, uh, United Kingdom version of English or uh, maybe Australian version of English and just like that. So you can choose different uh, languages over here on what you want to uh, give Cortana. So over here in Cortana, you can also see permissions. So you can give permissions on what Cortana can access and you can have more detail regarding Cortana as well. But we're not going to go over deep on this lesson for that. So that is how you can change settings with Cortana. So if I were to close this and say, hey, Cortana. So it actually pops up just like this. And I, I, I'm going to ask it, how's the weather like? Hey, Cortana, how's the weather like today? The forecast shows mostly cloudy skies with a high of 68 and a low of 50 with a slight chance of rain. So it shows me the weather. So that's how you can work around with the Cortana. And we're going to see more about how we work with it in the further lesson. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.